today it's time to change oil on our 2018 Ford Expedition with the 3.5 EcoBoost engine and it does have a Whipple upgrade on it which is a inner, bigger intercooler filter and a tune so this vehicle here has around 500 horsepower at the moment on 93 pump gas and um, as you've seen at the beginning of the video it does rattle it's starting to rattle which is not because of the Whipple upgrade or anything like that. It's just this is a early 2018 and the cam phasers, they seem to get play over time. This vehicle here was bought off an auction and it was completely destroyed. If you want to check out my other videos, I did a full rebuild. It was completely twisted. It was not fixable to most people, but I did end up fixing it. And uh, it actually turned out to be a very nice vehicle. The vehicle had 36,000 miles when we bought it, and now it has like 47,000. So this is going to be like a second oil change since we've had it. But this time I'd like to try something different. Before, I take the engine apart and replace those cam phasers. I would like to see if I can just do a engine flush and go with the thicker oil. 5W50 full synthetic is the same oil that I use in my Shelby GT350 that is recommended from the factory. My GT350 is Whipple supercharged and some people recommend using a better oil. I've been using this one in the Shelby and I do oil changes every 2000 miles or so, especially if I drive it hard, sometimes even sooner. Um, oil change is way cheaper than replacing an engine. Just keep that in mind. Also, in the last oil change that I did on this vehicle, I put a magnet on the filter. So I will be cutting that filter apart at the end of the video or somewhere towards the end. So right now, um, I usually get the regular motor flush, but this one here is a synthetic motor flush. I don't know if it's the same stuff or not. I can't confirm, but this is, you know, double the price. The other just a regular motor flush was five bucks at O'Reilly's. This one is 10, but it says it's for, it includes turbo engines. So I don't know, maybe it's better, maybe it's not. This vehicle has two turbos. So that's why I chose this one. I don't know if it's gonna be any better, but the reason why I wanna flush it is I had an older Expedition. It was a 2008 with the 5.4 and it had like a tick once in a while. And when I would flush it, it would actually go away for a little bit. So maybe this will help, maybe not. Doesn't hurt to try. And uh, then everybody else will know if it worked or not. I don't know, I'm assuming it's gonna be okay to use a thicker oil. I don't know if this engine is okay with that or not, but we're also gonna find out if the engine fails, I'll replace it, no big deal. So let's get to work. It does look like the stuff is a little different. The regular motor flush actually is like a red color. It looks like kerosene. This stuff here is like a yellowish, more of a clear yellow color. So it is, I guess, a little bit different. But we're gonna see if this helps any at all. And we'll do a cold start the next day. Cause it usually doesn't rattle until the car sits for about at least eight hours or so. So next morning we'll do a start again and see if it helps. So the instructions say to idle the car for five minutes. So that's what I'm going to do now is start it and run it for five minutes. And as you can hear, the engine's warmed up and it doesn't rattle anymore. So I'm guessing it's just the oil drains to the bottom of the pan, all of it overnight. And then it just rattles. It only rattles for about two to three seconds. If that, it's just like a just so annoying it just sounds like something's wrong with the car i i've heard people getting a check engine light because of the rattle i haven't seen that yet but i'm sure it's coming soon okay so i'm gonna let it idle for five minutes and then drain the oil okay so it's been exactly five minutes i'm going to go ahead and turn it off and start draining the oil
Wow. I just spilled it everywhere. And it's hot. Well, I knew it was going to be hot, but it's all good. Someone got this filter nice and tight. Oh wait, that was me. That was me. I don't know if this magnet thing will work this time because the magnet slid off. Like when you saw it, I already put it back in place, but the magnet was like this. So it doesn't stay on there very well. Bar number on the filter is FL-500-S. It's the same on the F-150s and 5.0s. It is a little different on my Shelby though. My Shelby's a 2016, so it doesn't have that cartridge filter yet. I think they started that in 2018. Okay. New filter is on. Guess I'm gonna put that magnet back on the new one, but I might put some tape just to keep it in place. I guess my wife's been off roading at some point, and uh, the magnet slid off. Maybe she took some jumps. I mean, it seems to like. It gets stuck pretty good with the magnet, but I don't know, I guess a couple bumps here and there and it just uh, slides off. So I'll put some tape on it. Yeah, this oil is way thicker than the 530. Even though last time I did the change, I put 530 full synthetic. And uh, this time it's 5... 50 full synthetic. I think it takes like six quarts. Six and a half, I think, or something like that. Maybe it's five and a half. I'm gonna put this number five in and check the dipstick and see. Too lazy to look it up. That, that's what the dipstick is for. Oh yeah, it's already at three quarter full, or like seven eggs. Maybe it's five and a half. Oh, what I'll do is I'll run it, because the filter is still dry. I'll run it, take it off the ramps, put it on the level surface and check it again and top it off.
Interesting, the magnet almost, like, it rubbed the paint off. I think eventually it would have just rubbed through, but... It's all good. Let's see what it looks like. Stab it. I want to use a saw to cut it, because then I'll get shavings in it. I think I do see a little bit of uh, like fine metal where the magnet actually was, where it moved to. You can see that it's darker in there. This was just not a good test because the magnet slid off. So the magnet did its thing. You can see over there on the bottom right here. Of course, it's just normal wear and tear. It's nothing like crazy. So the filter, I mean, the magnet does help a little bit, but the filter should stop the shavings regardless. So that's pretty cool. Well, now that the filter is taped on there, we'll have a better result next time. But you know, that magnet was like less than 10 bucks on Amazon. And also uh, I ordered the oil off Amazon as well for my Shelby I just buy a 12 pack of the Motorcraft 5W50 it comes in the box like that that was actually for my Shelby but uh, we're taking the trip on this thing so figured I'll donate some oil to the to the expedition school bus Whipple supercharged so if you're interested in getting any kind of Whipple upgrades, like EcoBoost upgrades or superchargers for pretty much anything, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, check out mtechsolutions.com. And uh, we're, we're located in Arden, North Carolina. And we can either get you a kit, a full kit, or install it for you. Just uh, check us out on the website and hit me up for pricing. Right now I'm just gonna reset the oil life inside and that'll be it. There you go oil change has been complete stay tuned for the next video later so with the new oil it still rattles but not as much so it does help a little bit but not fully